My wife is expecting. What? Wow. What? That's congrats. like burying the lead. I know. I know. I, I, October due date. Oh, my end gosh. Of, end of October due date. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. I just found out. It's a girl. Big reveal here on yeah. the yeah. <laughs> like Live streaming say, out. Gonna, like, I know. Live stream it. Live stream it. Hello and welcome to WTF, where we help you transform food in your kitchen. I'm Janie. And I'm Roman. And on this channel, we talk about unique ingredients, techniques, and show you new recipes for your kitchen. Now, today we are doing a fun recipe. This is kind of a pubby food recipe, and we are doing a deep-fried mac and cheese like you've never mm. seen it before. We're going to make it ooey, gooey, cheesy, and yeah. delicious. So I'm going to let Roman jump right into this and see how exactly we get a ball of mac and cheese to stick around to be fried without exploding. All, All right. right, let's just get right to this mm. recipe. Uh, classic modernist cuisine um, cheese sauce mm -hmm. that we're going to be making today with sodium citrate and sodium hexametaphosphate. This is this is simple. Okay. So let, let's just get right into it. Okay. All right. Let's just get right into it. Let's not mess around here. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have our. Uh, I'm going to turn that up right there. We have our milk now. Before you heat this milk up, you definitely want to make sure that you whisk in your sodium citrate and sodium hexametaphosphate. Mm -hmm. So you don't, wanna, you, you don't want that hot yet. So okay. this is on, but we, I'm gonna pull it to the side and we're gonna whisk that in. Yeah, and the classic modernist cuisine recipe, it uses sodium citrate to emulsify the milk and the cheese, right? Correct. So in this one, we're adding the sodium hexametaphosphate, which if you watched our episode a few weeks ago, um, you know, we used this in oh, order to make, right. what do we make with this? Uh, Empanada. The, the ham and the cheese ham and empanada. empanada. So this, and so the addition of the sodium hexametaphosphate allows this to have more body and more viscosity than it otherwise would. So this is uh, the secret sauce to this secret to sauce. To the secret. Ooh, I like oh, that. Right? That's like Inception. Secret mm -hmm. sauce is secret sauce. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm gonna put this on the heat. This is nice and combined. So mm -hmm. we're gonna bring this up to a simmer. Okay. Once this is up to a simmer, I already have my my blended cheddar and Parmesan mm -hmm. together. And there's, I've actually, there's a little bit of jack in there. I like jack because it's very soft mm -hmm. and it'll lend to like a smooth velvety texture. Okay. Which I mean, to be totally, totally honest, if we were just using Parmesan, which is hard because of the use of the sodium citrate and hexametaphosphate, it would still be very smooth. Mm -hmm. But I do like the flavor of jack myself. So okay. that's why we're we doing that. All right, so we're gonna bring this up to a simmer. And once you get this up to a simmer, you can start adding your cheese little by little. You just want to add a, little, a couple little bits at a time. Um, get that emulsified before you add the rest into it. Okay. All right, start on the simmer. We'll get our first little bits in there. And we will blend that up until it is nice and emulsified. All right, and I notice that you're kind of adding the cheese in slowly. You're not really like dumping everything in all at once. You're kind of making sure that there's yes that one batch is melted before adding more. Correct. Okay. All right, we are almost at macaroni time. Okay. Just make sure that this is completely emulsified, no bits. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We're gonna add our macaroni. Just give this a stir. As you can see, it's starting to thicken up nicely here. Mm. Look at that. That's I could eat it just like like this, actually. Mm. And we have our glass dish lined with a bit of parchment paper, and we're just gonna get that right in there. We are going to refrigerate this overnight for it to set and we'll come back and we will deep fry some mac and cheese for you. All right, so we are back with our mac and cheese. As okay. you can see, it's already set mm -hmm. in, the, in the mold that we set it in. Uh, we have our breading station here which consists of flour, egg, egg yolk actually, this is egg yolk and water, mm -hmm. and breadcrumbs. Okay. So this is just regular breadcrumbs um, and then I kind of like as you can see, they're a little fine, so I kind of ran them through the food process so they get them really fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a double, a double coat. Oh, okay. So we're gonna so we're gonna we're gonna go in and we're gonna one, two, three. But then we're gonna go back, and then back. Because what we want to do is we want to get 
um, a nice coating where none of that cheese is going to seep out. Okay, you very know? important so here. It's very important to do that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll get, you know, your, your fryer oil will be a mess. Okay. So, um, so I definitely totally recommend that. All right, so let's do it. It's pretty easy. This cuts really nice. As you can see, it's set very nicely. Mm -hmm. This is what this, I really like this. So we'll, we'll get a couple of pieces here. Looks nice. Looks beautiful. Um, we won't make them too big, huh? So you know, some bite-sized pieces. That's actually kind of big. All right, we'll do that. All right. And we will get that in our flour. And we will toss that a little bit. Into our egg. I'm going to shake off that excess. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. And then are those store-bought breadcrumbs, or did you, uh, I, did you make them? I made them. All right. I but you can. But you can. You store-bought. You store-bought, yes. Mm -hmm. These are definitely handmade. Mm -hmm. I actually made the brioche. And then oh, my made, gosh. And then <laughs> And then I made the breakfast. Yeah, we're not going to do all that because <laughs> it was like, all that for mac and cheese? <laughs> but uh, I, did, I, did, I did that because, you know, brioche is a very buttery bread. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to I get that savory. extra, extra flavor in there. That's the only reason. Otherwise, I would have went the Hannaford route or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever grocery store. So we're going to go back in for the double dredge. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure, just to, you know, just to get a really nice coating on it. We don't want it. You know, any of that goodness seeping out of there. And I, lo I love the one hand technique. You know, you have one hand that's wet and then the other hand dry. So my dry hand. All right, now we're going to drop these in our fryer at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And normally this takes about three to four minutes. Kay. Three, three and a half, four minutes. Great. Well, this is a good time for me to jump in and just do this week's ingredient highlight, which you probably guessed it. It's the sodium citrate and sodium hexametaphosphate combo. Now, both ingredients together, as we talked about before, they make this really wonderful American style cheese out of pretty much any cheese that you can think of. So we, we did a few weeks ago, we did the ham and cheese empanada and somebody wrote in the comments, they're like, oh, can I use any cheese? The answer is pretty much yes, right? Yeah. That's the beauty of it. And I think somebody else made a really interesting comment. They said, so basically American cheese is just cheese, but people freak out about it. And I'm like, yes, yes. because people think that it's not quote unquote real cheese, but it's just cheese in another form, right? And personally, I love the ooey gooey melty features of American style <laughs> Who cheese. Who doesn't? Right? <laughs> And, um, you know, so I, I love that we're able to use these two ingredients to transform any wonderful cheese of your choice into a deep fried mac and cheese, a American style cheese slice, a ham and cheese empanada, and probably many other things that you can think about. So go on to the links in the description below on modernistpantry.com. Check out these ingredients and all the recipes that we have available that you can use them for. Yeah. All right, let's get these out of there because I think they're pretty close to being done. See, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see over here. Oh, that was very hot. See that cheese there? <laughs> see that cheese there coming out of there? You know, you're just about done when that starts bubbling and, and the cheese starts trying to get out of there. So we're just going to, oh, that looks good. That looks beautiful. Oh, mm -hmm. beautiful. All right, we're going to let this cool for a couple minutes so yes. we're not, uh, yes. I mean, I'm not going to go reach out and touch it with my bare hands out of the fryer. <laughs> All right, we're going to give it a sec and we'll be right we'll be back, back. For, to taste. Okay, we are back with our fried mac and cheese ready to go, okay. beautifully crusted. Yes. Uh, we let it come down in temperature so we're not eating hot lava. Mm -hmm. So let's try it out. All right, let's go. Moment of truth. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we I'm got gonna here. I'm going to break mine open. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I think I'm going to do that too. Oh, yeah. It is oh, beautiful look at that little cheese, cheese right there. Just so I love that the cheese is still, is it's nice, still yeah. holding its shape. Yep. It's not but, completely falling But, but it's falling gooey. Or, it's gooey. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you squeeze it, you can. Mm. Oh, yeah. You need to eat this hot. Yeah, you have to have a hot. Good. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is good. Perfectly crunchy, mm. crispy outside. Yep. The gooey. soft, gooey, melty, cheesy inside. This mm. is, you know, this is, you know, pub food. You, I, I'm not even a beer drinker, and I want a beer with this. I, yes. Mm. So, wow, that really is, that delicious. Is great. Mm. Perfect, perfect blend of cheeses. Very nice good. job. Yeah, the cheese blend is really good. I have to say. Mm. It's like that, that, little, that little, that little Jack Parmesan mm -hmm. combo with the cheddar, sharp cheddar. Mm. 
really, really good. Get the full recipe in the links in the description below. Let us know what you think. Give it a try. Really fun recipe. And easy, too. Yeah, pretty easy. And until next week, from here in a modernist pantry test kitchen, I'm Janie. And I'm Roman. And we transform food. You're the first live people I told that to. Like, wow. like my parents over there, you know, yeah, my, yeah. over the phone, and, yeah. but you guys are the first live wow. actual people. You've been holding that, that one in. I have too. I've like, and I, yeah, yeah, it's you been hard tell too. Okay. I, yeah. <laughs>